When vinyl was the only format, the record came out and it sounded like what it sounded like. What I would say of vinyl is you get this great moment in time that the artist wanted to present to you. All ages, any age, loves the feeling of coming to a record store, browsing through the records. And then you get up and you flip the record. It's kind of like a little intermission and you listen to it like the artist intended. Everything you watch on television, there's always a record player. Like when vinyl was coming back, I could tell because all of a sudden you would see it in TV shows and in commercials. Boom! You, 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 you drop down the records, you just won. You know? <laughs> vinyl records have been stimulating listeners and collectors since the 1800s. How did this sexy little piece of plastic come to be? And how has it evolved over the ages? No one really cared about CDs. CDs were cool because you could put a bunch in an envelope and take them in your car and they were portable. But there was nothing sexy about them. No one's excited about the 3,000 CDs they have on a rack in their living room. No one cares about that. Of course the sound was better because of course it was better. Dudes come in with gray hair and they go, you're playing that on vinyl? I used to have that record. People who like to tell you that they used to have that record. I hate to call it a resurgence because for me it never went away. It never went away. That's the first thing. It never actually went away. A record's something that sits around forever. It's the last tangible product that's going to make any sense. We've talked to the fans, the collectors, and the experts, and we're not convinced that our beloved vinyl will be going anywhere anytime soon. Sit back and relax. We're about to take you for a spin.